Hey gang, Kyle demos carbine basics and things you need to know when employing your carbine. Kyle, it's on you. Hey, Kyle DeFour here with DeFour Performance. Out on the range today talking about basic carbine skills, what I consider basic skills. First off, to kind of hit up on, uh, on the last episode we did, uh, some of the accessories. We're talking about magazines now because we're actually going to load the gun. Uh, you got polymer mags like the Magpul, you got normal GI mags. Both are good. It's kind of up to you which one you want to use. Everybody usually has a preference. Uh, a couple things you need to, to note on it though. You'll see here that I label the mag, obviously just so if I'm shooting at a range with other people, I know it's mine. I also number it, so all my mags, one through 10 or whatever. If the mag starts malfunctioning, I, it doesn't feed, it doesn't whatever, I can look at the number and it's a process of alleviation just I don't have to deal with. Uh, as far as loading goes, even numbers for bullets always end up on the right side, uh, this being the right if you look at it. Um, we want 28 in there, and how we can tell it's 28, if you take this and you press this down, that, that top round should be even with that U notch in the back. That's how we tell there's 28 rounds. So most experienced guys when we're loading, you'll see us just do that to, to know there's 28 rounds in there. Okay, now let's go down and take a look at the gun. I see a lot of people at ranges, they'll take guns and they'll rest them places. Um, I am not real big on a gun resting vertical on something. If you're going to put it down, put it down like this one. A muzzle in a safe direction, so this this would be the furthest point forward, the firing line, if you will. Lock the bolts with the rear, put it on safe. Leave your action open. A lot of military guys, because they're used to their time overseas uh, in a dusty environment, they'll close this. Nobody really knows the condition of the gun. So I would just leave it like that or carry it on you. Now, when you carry it on you, a couple things on that. I'm going to pick this up and stand up, and we're going to start, start talking about that. As I carry a weapon, there's only one time that your master grip, and that for a right-hander, that's my right hand, for a left-hander, it's your left hand. There's only one time that it comes off the pistol grip for a carbine. So here it goes, it's going on the pistol grip. I got my long finger on the side, it's on safe. I'm going to apply steady upward pressure the whole time I carry this thing. If I carry it low, I'm gonna do this right here. So the muzzle is really pointed straight down. All right, if you look at the buttstock, the buttstock is on the outside of my arm. And here's what I mean by that. Some people will try to do this, and carry the gun low, and you can't because right now the muzzle is trying to come up a little bit. So if you're gonna carry it low, just like this right here, we call this folding it in, just like that. If you're gonna carry it high, nothing wrong with that, some guys do that. And, and just so you know out here while we're filming Trigger Time TV, the cameraman and I have worked together for a long time and we, we're well versed in walking around each other, so everything we do here is safe. If I'm gonna carry it high though, notice that the buttstock is now on the inside of my, my elbow and my arm. So low, like this, High like this. Okay, let's talk about loading now. I like to load from up high. That way, uh, it's safely down range. I don't have to worry about uh, you know not seeing anything or anything like that. So I take my mag, I insert it in the mag well, tap, tug, I pull on it, make sure it's seated. All right, I use my thumb to send a bolt forward. More on that in a later episode when we talk about speed on reloads and stuff like that. So I'll go just like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it over and I'm gonna look at the, uh, at the bolt right here. I'm gonna pull the, pull the buttstock into my gut, pull this back, and I'm gonna do a press check. There we go, just like that. I'm pulling the charging handle to the rear just enough to see that round. I know it's good, it's right there. The camera can see it, you guys can see it. I let this go forward, hit my forward assist, close my dust cover, now I'm ready to shoot. So let, let's take a few shots, all right? So we're out on the range, we're practicing. All right, everything's nice, back on safe. Now it's time to unload. Again, I like to come up high. I'm facing downrange to a safe direction, and, and I'll unload. Now, I, I realize there are places out there where they're like, hey, the muzzle must stay down. You can do, it low, you can do all this at low as well. Just remember that you got to come out here to do it, okay? So here I come, mag out, always remove the source of ammo first, put that away, there's no reason to really drop it on the ground. I am gonna face my chamber toward the ground. Makes life a whole lot easier for a variety of reasons. All right, I come right here. Remember I told you one and only time you're gonna take your master grip off the gun and this is it right now. I'm gonna support the gun just like this, come right here, I'm gonna rack it twice. I know it's clear and I come down here, push the bolt lock, I bring this charging handle to the rear, lock the bolt to the rear, stow the charging handle, that's very important. That is the Achilles heel of this weapon system. Roll it to the side, I look in the chamber, it's completely clear, and I know this gun is safe. Now, as I return back to wherever I'm going, my car, wherever, again, a safe carry, long finger on the side, applying steady upward pressure. So those are just some basic skills you need to know with a carbine, an AR-15, an M4, any long gun, in my opinion. All right, get out there and practice your manipulations. We'll see you on the range.
Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Raven Concealment System, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Legion Firearms, U.S. Optics, Meredith Rifle, Dark Angel, Keltec, Yeti, Crossbone, Wiley X, Vertex, Black Rain Ordnance, Huber Concept, Tax Strike, and WW Guns. My first assignment in the Army was in the Republic of Panama. There I was a rifle and scout platoon leader. I'd like to dedicate this episode to the 2nd Battalion, 187th Infantry Regiment. Rock us on. Closed caption provided by Wiley X.